<clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. So, welcome back to Eternal Senya. I had to give it about a minute so it could buffer. Alright, let's do this. Finally defeat Sister Megaletta in the last episode. So, alright. I... Sis Megaletta, are you okay? Senya. Uh, it's nice to have you back, really. I thought I would lose you forever. Megaletta carefully embraced Senya with a peaceful smile. Sorry for making you worry. <laughs> son of a bitch! Sis Megaletta, son of a bitch! <clears throat> I am right here, right next to you. Why? Why did you leave me without a word? Why left me alone? How could you do this to me? I am sorry. You could count on me too. Don't try to burden everything by yourself. Share with me, okay? You are right. I have done it wrong this time. Sorry for making you went through all this. I must have hurt you bad. Is it the real sis this time, right? Yep. Not some illusion by demons, right? <laughs> of course not. Nor is this a dream. Not a dream either. I am right here for you. Megaletta hugs Cindy even harder, touching her cheek to Cindy's hair. Slowly and carefully, it's like this moment is a water bubble which will burst, which is any bit of force. I have returned, Senya. Senya raises her head, staring straight at Megaletta's face. It's like she cannot make sure if this is true or not. Megaletta looks back with her with a warm smile, and sure Senya this is all real. Seeing so, Senya jumps right back into Megaletta's arms. Welcome back, sis Megaletta. I thought I was the one who entered the Tower of Eternity for your life. I thought it was worth the price, even if that means I can never see you again. I thought I was determined, but now I've proven myself wrong. It's so nice to be able to see you again. Sis Megaletta, however, this does not mean I forgive you for risking into the Tower of Eternity. Uh, but I, um, do you know what is the risk for venturing into the Tower of Eternity? I, do you know how worried I was when you were cursed because you followed me? I blame myself for not being able to lift the curse from you so bad. I am sorry, sis. Am I being too harsh on her? A little. She just saved your life. Anyway, nothing is better than seeing you all safe and sound. Sis Megaletta. Megaletta tightly hugs Senya again. It is almost like she's making sure her existence is real. A deep, deep hug. Lasted almost a century. It's real. Sis, let's go home together. I have met Fel Melf... Malfwick, the fairy queen on my way here. She may have some clue on lifting your curse. The fairy queen? Sure, let's go. Right. I will lead the way. Okay. Oh, that looks like it hurts. Ugh. Senya, what is wrong? That's wrong. Eternity. Sis, son of a bitch, Senya. Uh, it's no use. Son of a bitch. What should I do now? What can I do to save Senya? I cannot afford to wait. What will happen to Senya if I don't act quick? Suddenly, a bad feeling rises in my mind. I cannot bear to imagine losing Senya. The desperation is like a swamp that sucked me in. What should I do now? Is there any way to save her? Senya. I have to save Senya. You cannot just sit here and watch. Senya may be taken away any time now. No. It is not the time to give up hope. I should focus on saving Senya. There is one method. I'm sorry, Senya. It is okay, sis. I am fine. This will not last too long. It will stop in a bit. Senya. So, sis, son of a bitch, do not, do not come over here. I am sorry, Senya. It looks like I will not be able to keep my promise. 
sis, what is she trying to do? What should I do? Push the bitch. Ah, Senya. Oh, that is dark. And I love the music. Eternity has her. Senya, wake up. I am not Nia. Senya, it was all my fault. I should not have taken Senya as a replacement of Nia. Ugh. Ooh. Senya slashed her sword at me. It's a bad wound, probably a lethal one, but it matters not. What matters is how bad I have wounded Senya with my actions. S Senya. I am sorry. I have not been a good sister. Ugh. It was all my fault. Where was the root of this tragedy? I don't have the time or space to figure that out. I just do my best slumping towards Senya. Sis failed to protect you. Instead, I hurt you so bad. Ugh. Oh. Senya waves her sword at me without even frowning, looking at my wounds in this Senya. It's obvious to me now. All is lost. No more hope. No more light. Guess we cannot go back to church together. My sight is blurred by tears. My voice started to choke. I need to apologize to you and to Nia. I failed to protect neither one of you. It must have been a bad experience for you to have such a failure sister like me. I'm really sorry. Oh. Uh. I, we will. It is the last time I wipe my tears. It is the last decision I will make. For one last time. Senya. I want to tell Senya. This time, we are staying together forever. Wow, what a dark ending. Though a very tragic and heart pulling one. I like it. Give me one moment, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I'm really sorry about that. I need soda. But, um, I must say this is beautiful music. Even though I didn't play with the music on for most of the time, I did play it on my free time the entire game through with the volume on, and I must say, beautiful music. I normally don't like music in the background, but this is so beautiful. I must say, they did a really good um, composition, composition with this music. Really good. Oh, thank you for making the game. It was a really good game. No joke. It really was. Not just shitting anybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Ending 2. Senya and Magaletta to eternity. Well, very upsetting ending, but very heartwarming too. Very emotional, not really heartwarming. But, yeah. I mean, damn. Alright guys, I'll be back. Give me one moment and I'll be right back where the decision left off that goes into ending 3. Give me one moment. 